Hi there, it's Margie Worrell here. New Year's resolutions, we hear about them every single year and yet the research shows that fewer than 50% of people who make resolutions ever keep with them. You know, it's not that resolutions themselves aren't worthwhile. In fact, it's great to be, to be wanting to improve your life in some way. The problem lies in how we make them. Too often, we don't put enough thought into what it is we're resolved to doing, what it is we want to do more of or less of or change in our lives. And it's why it's really important as you think about what it is you want for the year ahead, what it is you'd love to achieve, what it is you'd love to change, the things that really light you up and excite you, to go about making resolutions in ways that set you up to achieve them. Now, I've written an article that gives you some do's and don'ts, specifically some of the mistakes that people make. And I don't wanna go into all of them now, but what I will say is this, is that it is so important as we go through life to continually ask ourselves, where is it that I'm selling short on what it is I wanna do and who it is I wanna be? Where am I stuck in a default mode that isn't serving me? Where am I sticking with old habits of thought and behavior that are holding me back from living the best life I know I have it within me to live? And what do I need to do to change the things that aren't serving me so that I can create um, the things that really I really want most? So a couple of key things I just wanted to really touch on is one, whatever it is you resolve to do, make sure it's really meaningful for you. Make sure it has a deep why. Why is it so important for you to step into action and maybe give up some of the payoffs you get from the behavior you've had up until now. Two, be specific. When you're airy-fairy and ambiguous and unclear about what it is you wanna do, then it makes it really hard for you to stay on track, stay in action. And certainly it's very hard to measure your progress or even know when you've succeeded at what it is you're, you're wanting to do. Three, one of the big ones is to create an environment that sets you up for success. One, a social environment. Have people around you who are cheering you on and supporting you, holding your feet to the fire and sometimes giving you a very loving but gentle kick up the rear end when you fall down on the commitments you've made to yourself, when you kind of go back into those old, well-worn paths of, of thought and behavior. Likewise, your physical environment. Where do you need to clean up the physical environment around you? Because physical clutter creates mental clutter and your physical clutter includes your inbox. You know, just sometimes we have so much stuff, we're so crowded out with all the stuff around us, it creates no space for us to really step into action. I think of it in terms of someone who's going off to climb a mountain, you know, clean up your base camp first. So make sure you do that. And finally, don't expect that everything is going to just go as you'd like it to be. Don't expect your motivation will stay strong. Don't expect you won't have setbacks. Don't expect every bit of effort you put in is going to meet, meet with immediate and spectacular results. You know, if it was easy to create changes, if it was easy to go after big goals, if it was easy to keep our resolutions, then a lot more people would be doing that. So be realistic, be kind to yourself when you slip up because you will be kind to yourself when you don't get the results you, you want straight away because they won't always happen and things fall by the way. And most of all, just give yourself permission to be part of the learning. You know, look at this as something where as human beings, we're not really human beings at all. We are human becomings. It's sometimes two steps forward, one step back, sometimes one step forward, two steps back. That's part of what it is to be a human, but to continually choose your own growth over comfort, choose to, to move toward what inspires you rather than just away from what scares you and choose to just keep working on bettering yourself. It's not about being better than anybody else. Ultimately, it's about being better than you were yesterday. And the days when you're not better than you were yesterday, to forgive yourself, pick yourself back up and move on. I hope this is helpful and I wish you a really, really rewarding, adventure-filled and deeply satisfying year ahead. Take care.